Okay, so I part, excuse me for the real unscripted of these videos because I was not planning on this today. I didn't lay awake at night and think about videos like I do the other videos. Um, this is just kind of one of them things that just struck me while I was walking the fields. Um, the big thing here out here is, so this is last year's corn stump. I am right across the road, so there's the little field. I'm uh, a couple hundred yards away from where we just dug. Um, and you can see all the wormholes. Look at all the big roots. And these are the ones that we can see, but look at all these little hair roots. They don't look like much, all them little roots down there. Um, but they add up, that, that matters. That, that's something in the soil to stop compaction. That's uh, for water infiltration, life. Look at all the roots. That's, uh, I don't know if that's from this little bean plant. It might be, but you can just, you know, from last year's corn, there's just old roots everywhere. Yeah, that might be a root from that little bean plant. Um, so they're getting down there very easily. 100% my theory is correct. Um, now people can't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we can see that little a little root sticking out of the clay right there. Um, that is what we want. Oh, a worm fell in there. Hey, little filler. Um, that is what we want. That's our whole goal. That's why we're doing this. And uh, I can tell, I tried to videotape while I pushed the shovel in the ground um, to show how much easier it was. And I, I, I just couldn't make a quality video like that. Someday when I got millions of YouTube dollars and I'm rich and famous, I can afford to to have people out here, a full production company, and make some high quality videos. But this is what you get for now, viewers. Um, just pure, pure uh, function and no fashion. But yeah, I mean, 100% pushing that shovel into this ground next to that stump, it just sank right in. In fact, you can see I already got inches into the clay or maybe an inch yeah about an inch into that clay and I didn't even realize it I was worried it went in so soft and easy I was almost worried that I picked the spot in the field that does not have clay which is kind of impossible on this little headland and so that that the proof is in the pudding right there why if it's working why do we need to drag mechanical tillage around here to fix an issue that we last year's crop fixed? This year's crop is taking advantage of it. The, the roots are going, they're popping out of the side of the bank here. Um, you know, you got roots everywhere from these soybean plants. They're running shallow this year because of all the moisture. Um, that's just how plants work. They're not gonna dig deep roots into wet soil. They're gonna spread horizontally across wet ground. And then as the ground dries, they're gonna go and start digging deep. Hopefully the ground doesn't just turn into a drought year and the moisture move away from the plant faster than it can grow its roots. I do not think that's a concern for us this year. Um, but yeah, that, that soil, that just, just pushing it, it falls apart. You know, that, that's how soil should be. We shouldn't have to sit there and, and squeeze and, and err, you know, and try and, but this is the clay. You can see the clay there. I can make a ball out of it, but there's enough little tiny pieces of, of residue and stuff in there that we really aren't popping out, but make it crumble back apart. And so there's, there's a lot of sand in with that clay. Um, so yeah, there, there you go. There's the proof. That's what we're doing. It's working. I guess I don't have to have any more videos. I'm, I'm convinced, but yeah, that's that.